black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. On today's crave, I'm looking to make a deli style chopped sub. So chop all the shit up, chop this meat up, and end up in a nice fresh sub roll. Let's give this a try. All right, well, first things first, I got a smoking deal on this. This was 650 for 400 grams of turkey, chicken, and ham. All nice quality meat too. President's Choice got the good stuff. I'm pretty impressed with that, but we're gonna do a couple slices of each and have a mixed blend sandwich here. And simply, we're going to chop it up. All right, phase one, chopped meat complete. That's going into the bowl. Next up, chopped pickles. Hitting it up with some chopped pepperoncinis as well. A little spice action. We're also gonna come in with a little green olive action for a little more of an Italian touch maybe, we could call it. All right, all of that goes into the bowl with our three chopped meats. I also had some pre-shredded onion that I tossed in as well. I've also got finely grated marble cheese. Nice handful of that fresh shredded crispy lettuce. And then we got a drizzle of Italian dressing. Nice big spoonful of mayo, a couple of those. Fresh cracked pepper. And then we do the combine. Hopefully I didn't go too heavy on the mayo. Might have to add in a little, in a little more meat. And now we cut. Cross-section reveal for our chop sub. Mm, that's lunch right there. That is lunch. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me in a perfect homemade deli-style lunch. A sandwich I've never made before, but I saw like a short on YouTube or TikTok where a guy kind of made something like this. I put my own spin and rendition on it, but I immediately was like, I gotta have that. And I'm going grocery shop. Well, that was last night, but talk about that in a minute. Anyways, before we do anything more, I'm not... <laughs> Last pour. And today's pour is a whole different move because today we're going in with pink lemonade. Have you ever seen me drink a pink lemonade? I don't think so. What's that drink called? Pink Whitney? It's like an alcoholic drink, I believe, with pink lemonade and probably vodka or something to that effect. But He's doing it different today. Pink lemonade. I saw it in the freezer section and like those dollar freezer juices. And I was like, I need some pink lemonade. I haven't had pink lemonade in forever. So, and it's good for like a light lunch. It, it matches. It's crisp. And it's mighty, mighty delicious. All right. Now, I know there's already pickles in the actual chopped sandwich, but... You know, if we're gonna do it deli style, we need to have a deli spear, right? But we'll get to that after we take a bite of this sandwich, because that's what I'm really super excited for, just that fresh bread. And you know that it always, the sandwich tastes better when it's wrapped up in a uh, wax or a parchment type situation. Let's see if I can get it to, 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 to turtle its little head out here, but it did, the bread hugged that chop so perfectly. Look how soft, ugh. Okay, we're losing this. That'd be too annoying to continue to, to pursue with it on. 
Perfect. Such a delicious homemade little banger with some OG chips, crew stills. That's French for chips. I never, I always think about that when people are watching these videos, they're like, they see our branding, our packaging, they're like, what, what, is this, what are these words? It's because we have French, Canadian, like we have our English and then French Canadian on all our branding and packaging. I've just grown up with it, so I'm so used to it. Flavor profile here. I was a little concerned about the olives being an overpowering addition. They are certainly noticeable, but in a good way. Complimentary for sure. The Italian dressing. Definitely tends to stand out. And the tomato, actually, quite a bit. I like how it's all like a cohesive bite. You just get everything, right? It's essentially a I would classify it as a salad sandwich, like a tuna salad, a chicken salad, an egg salad kind of thing, like just with different meat. But I believe in like deli subculture, submarine culture, sandwich culture, they are described as like he a hero, I think it's called. And yes, I have been dipping my dill pickles lately in ranch. And yes, it's wonderful. And speaking of wonderful, going grocery shopping at 8 p.m. on a Sunday evening, that's wonderful. I did it last night. And let me tell you, that is a power move. Although you run the risk of the shelves being a little empty, Some stuff out of stock. <laughs> the produce in certain areas a little barren. But the peace <laughs> with having very few people in the store. It was worth the trade off. I felt like I could just take my time, right? I didn't give myself a time limit. I just wandered around. I double backed on certain stuff. I looked at prices for longer. I checked my options. I gallivanted. I even went into aisles. Formerly unknown. 
and looked through products that I had never had time to see or witness or consider before. Because isn't that a trip? <laughs> you go to the grocery store your whole entire life and probably 80% of the, st the stuff in there you'll never eat. You'll never try. You'll never go off your beaten path of what you most usually <laughs> like to eat. At least I do. I'm a victim for that. Like, I always kind of stay within my realm of what I'm used to. There we go. Part two. And, uh, Y'all yeah, know it was going to happen at some point. <laughs> Got to try it with a little dab of ranch just to see it. Even though it really doesn't need it. But it already has that dressing and stuff in there. But whatever. We'll spice it up. We'll, we'll adhesive a chip onto it. And have that type of bite. And thoroughly enjoy that type of bite. The whole time I was shopping, after seeing that video of the guy who made his version of this, all I could think about, they say not to go grocery shopping hungry. I almost ate a pre-made <laughs> chicken salad sandwich in store as I shopped. Any of you guys do that? Snack and shop? <laughs> and then pay for it on the way out? Or snack and shop and accidentally forget that you had a sandwich while you were shopping <laughs> I'm not really a I, I see lots of people in store chugging juices that they bought mm -hmm. that they're going to buy or straight up just snacking on like a bag of chips I always viewed it as kind of like a social faux pas, if you will. But really, if you like, it's your food at that point because you are buying it. So as long as you bring it up and bring it through, and like you know, like you went to the grocery store knowing that you had money to buy food, right? So. I guess I don't see why not, but I always thought it was weird when I was growing up. But some days you're in there and you're starving and you need a little something. <laughs> my, my, my blood sugar is dropping, my blood sugar is dropping. Pull out the fake diabetes excuse. Nobody's gonna know. These people don't know your medical history. This is how bad I am with spice. That those little bit of pepper and genius. Have me a little bit perspiring. A little bit of sweat. Just in the bags. 
that's weak. Real weak. I ate something with just Frank's hot sauce the other day. Just Frank's. Which isn't that crazy at all for hot sauce. Still. I find myself sweating. I would absolutely die on hot ones. I know that the bomb would delete me out of existence. I'm sure of it. Quite certain. All right. One of those beautifully perfect meals. Just the right amount of food. So satisfying. Everything just matches up together. A light little lemonade. Chips and a sub, classic. Got pickle. <sighs> that was perfection. And that hit the spot so hard after like seeing that video. <laughs> Going grocery shopping and waiting a day, like waiting like I didn't make it last night. I almost made it last night when I got home, but I was like, nah, I'll have it tomorrow, like when I'm really feeling it. So, delayed gratification on an amazing, delicious sub. Super good. Really impressed with it. And just that freshness of that, th those buns, that loaf, oh, the way they hugged it. Clouds, pillows, heaven. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.